friends, welcome to my channel Rinku Handcrafts. Today we are going to see how to make this cute crochet pouch. The pattern for this pouch is really simple but it looks really beautiful as you can see. And you can make this pouch in any size you want. You can make it as big as you want. So let's first check the measurements of the pouch. So it's approximately five and a half inches in width and around six and a half inches in length. And uh, you can use this pouch to uh, keep so many things like uh, your small album, pocket hard disk, power bank, your diary. And like this, you can keep so many things in this pouch. So shall we start? Now to start, first we will make slip stitch to the hook and then we are going to make total 18 chains as foundation. Keep these chains a little bit loose like I am doing. Now here my 18 chains are done. Now to start row 1, we are going to turn our work and we are going to work in the back loops of these chains. So we are going to skip this first chain from the hook, this chain we are going to skip and in this next back loop I am going to make one single crochet stitch. Now for single crochet insert your hook in the loop, pull the yarn, you have two loops on the hook, pull the yarn from two loops. And now like this in each of these back loops we are going to make one single crochet stitch each so at the end of row 1 you should have total 17 single crochet stitches so complete row 1 and meet me back at the end now I am here at the end of row 1 and I am going to do my last single crochet stitch in this last loop and while doing that I am also going to change my yarn now like this to complete this single crochet stitch I am going to use different color yarn now I'm taking this pink color yarn and this is how you can smoothly transfer the yarn in between project and now to start row 2 I'm going to chain 2 and turn my work right like this now in this first loop here we are going to do puff stitch now for that yarn over, insert your hook in this loop, pull the yarn, pull it to some height like this, then again yarn over, insert your hook in the same loop, and then pull the yarn. Now skip one loop next to it and now in this next loop, we are going to do again the same puff stitch here in this next loop. So like this yarn over and then pull the yarn, again yarn over and then pull the yarn so we are going to do we are doing this two times in each loop and now once you have all the loops on the hook then pull the yarn through all loops at once and now to secure this we are going to do chain one here so it will look like this now to do next puff stitch again yarn over insert your hook in the same loop where we last did our puff stitch and then pull the yarn to some height then again yarn over insert your hook and then pull the yarn then skip one loop here and in this next loop again do yarn over two times to make pop stitch and now pull the yarn through all loops at once and to secure it make chain one and now like this I am going to continue this row two and I am going to complete this row with pop stitch skipping one loop in between so once you are done with your row 2 then meet me back at the end and then I'll show you how to end our row 2 and now here I have done my last group of puff stitch and now to complete row 2 I am going to do one double crochet stitch in the same last loop And now here you can see our row 2 is done and this is how our pattern looks 
and now to start row 3 again chain 1 and turn your work and now this is going to be the row of single crochet stitch like we did row 1 so in each of these loops we are going to do one single crochet stitch each the pattern is really simple for this project but it looks really beautiful once you complete all the rows then you will know it so complete this row 3 of single crochet stitch and then meet me back at the end now I am here at the end of row 3 and I am going to do my last single crochet stitch on top of this chain that we did in the last row and while doing that I am also going to change the yarn and here you see I haven't cut my yarn because in this project we are going to change the yarn frequently so I have kept my yarns like that only and now make your single crochet stitch with white yarn now pull this yarns little bit to make the stitch little bit tight and just make sure that when you are doing the row of single crochet stitch the count of the single crochet stitch should be 17 always and now to start row 4 we are going to do chain 2 and now turn our work and this will be the row of pop stitches like we did here so for that again yarn over insert your hook in this first loop pull the yarn pull the yarn to some height like this hold it here again yarn over insert your hook pull the yarn then skip this one loop here and then in this next loop again make puff stitch by doing yarn over two times and now pull the yarn through all loops at once and to make it secure make chain one at top and then again we are going to follow the same pattern of a puff stitch row by skipping one loop in between always Now here I am at the end of row 4 and I am going to complete my row by doing one double crochet stitch at the end on top of this chain from the last row. So always complete your puff stitch row with double crochet stitch. And now the row 5 is going to be the row of single crochet stitch. So now here I just want to show you. Now for this pouch we are going to do the row of single crochet stitch and puff stitch alternately and uh, for this um, project I am going to make total 33 rows. The last row is going to be single crochet stitch. While doing this uh, project you can change your yarn color in between. I am going to change the yarn after every 4 rows so you can do the same. So once I complete my 33 rows then I will meet you back at the end. Now here I have finished my row 33 of single crochet stitch and now here you can see this is how our project looks till now. So this is the inside of the pouch and this is going to be the outside of the pouch and now we are going to just fold this in between like this and just match these rows and now we are going to join this two sides with a row of single crochet stitch now for that insert your hook in this this part by taking these these ends which we kept like that by taking these extra ends on the hook we are going to make one single crochet stitch
so like this make one single crochet stitch each in each of these loops on this side and then we are going to do the same on this side as well so once you are done with that then meet me back here at the end and now as you can see I have joined both sides of this pouch by single crochet stitch and now we will work on the locking part for this pouch now for the locking part I'm going to take both strands pink and white and I'll make slip stitch to the hook first like this and then make total 30 chains here taking both strands on the hook and now my 30 chains are done here and now we will join this to our pouch so this will be the front side and this is going to be the back side of the pouch so i'm going to join here like this cute crochet pouch is ready i hope you like my video if you like it then please give a big thumbs up please share my channel with your friends and family and don't forget to subscribe it thank you so much for watching the video see you soon in the next one